What's good YouTube? Creator House here back with another video and I'm going to be showing you guys how to throw objects in Blender. The reason why I had to figure this out was because I had animated throwing a shield like manually and it did not come out good at all. So once I did some research and went through all the steps to learn how to throw it myself, I feel like I should show you guys. So this is how I animated it. This is how it looks, well, the finished product. And it looks pretty good. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys real quick. It's gonna be like a short little video, not too long, not too short. And let's get into it. First thing you wanna do is create a plane. And then I am going to, what I'm going to is duplicate this. And then rotate it on the Y axis. 90 degrees. All right, righty. Now I'm gonna add a rigid body to this. Oh wait, my own thing. Rigid body, passive to both of them. All right. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is create an armature. On edit mode, extrude on the X. I mean Z axis. And then I am going to go into pose mode. There we go. And I'm gonna rotate it on the x-axis. Now, one thing you don't want to do is this. I'll show you. Oh, I must have did it wrong. Rotate on the y. Okay, rotate on the y. We're gonna rotate on the y. So we're gonna have this rotation here. Bow. Rotate. Rotate on the Y. That's not what you want to do right here because for some reason it does that and I hate that. So what we're going to do is delete this keyframe. Click here. Rotate on the Y. There, keyframe. And then rotate on the Y. Boom. Keyframe. So now we got this animation. Now I'm gonna make it a little faster. There you go. All right, now I'm gonna add a ball, a sphere. Let's move this back a little. And then we're gonna add a, go into object mode. All right, now we're gonna add a sphere. Smooth scale. All right, that is so litty. All right, so now what you wanna do is add a rigid body to this. Go over to your constraints, child of, and you want this bone right here. So you go back and pose and you figure out what bone number that is. That is bone 001. So you go back into object mode, you click this, and then you go back down and you click the armature bone 001 and then if that happens you just hit set inverse okay all right so now what we want to do is we got to go down to rigid body and you want to hit animate it so when you animate it it follows it but it doesn't let go so we got to go back keyframe that and then once it gets about right there, we're gonna turn it off. So, and hit, oh, and hit I for keyframe. So, so we have it here. Clearly, that's kind of weird. Okay. So like the more you move these two keyframes on the ball, or, yeah, there you go. See how different it looks every time you move it? It's all about physics, and I'm not good with physics, so I'm gonna just keep doing it till it look right. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's funny. But that's how you make a little animated ball. That's what I did with my shield in that clip. Now, before you render your animation, what you would need to do is go over to this little tab right here, physics. 
or no, not scene properties, and you want to go down to rigid body and you want to click cache. Now you can have it animation start here on the timeline, 130 or whatever, or have it end. But if you was to do 500, your animation would end like right here. So you can move that if you want to. Now, make sure you bake your animation before you render it out because it might not appear on the render. So once you bake it, you can, it's good. Like it's set in stone see this and that's it that's all I got to show that looks good if you ask me it looks kosher but that's it for this YouTube video guys I hope you guys stay tuned for another video I will be coming out with another one sometime soon hopefully and uh, hit that subscribe button hit the links in the description check my other stuff out look at my other videos and that's it Hope you all have a great day.